Hi everyone, my name is Sarah and I'm your instructor for today. Now I'm not opening a convenience store even though it looks like I am because I have so many things with me. But these are all household items that you can find in your own home that you can use to help you with your class today. All right, first option I have here are two empty um, Tupperwares. You can choose to fill them up with whatever you want to. You can use things that are already full. It's just that mine are not used. That's why they're empty. You can fill it with water if you feel like it might be a bit more stable. These are great because they allow you to put your hands on them without you having to kill your back or your hamstrings. All right. Now the other option, if you don't have Tupperware, is tissue. <laughs> so these are from FairPrice not sponsored. Um, these are tissue packets that are a little bit soft, but they're the kind that are like a tissue box. So what helps is that you can put your hands onto them and they won't slip around, especially if you're putting them onto the mat. All right, sometimes people will recommend books, but the problem with books is that if you don't have thick books and you stack a lot of books one on top of the other, if you put your hands on them and you need to push, they'll just slide right off and that's not very safe. So the options are Tupperware, or tissue. I'll leave it to you to decide if you get more innovative, please by all means use whatever works best for you. All right, I have here with me a gym towel. These are the best things in the world because they can help you with flexibility as well as supporting your knee if your knee does not feel comfortable on the floor. Again, if you have very bad knee problems, then please by all means go ahead and grab a couch cushion because that's gonna give you a lot more support than just a gym towel. All right, so I'll leave it to you to decide if you want that cushion or not. I'm gonna do without it today, so I'm gonna put it out of frame. It does not get cluttered. And I'm going to choose to work with my Tupperware, just because they're a little bit taller. So these guys are just gonna slide out of frame as well. <laughs> okay, from here, we're gonna come into a nice, comfortable seated position. You can place these at the tops of your mat first. And sitting up cross-legged, if this is not comfortable for you, you can place one leg folded in front of the other. All right, I'm placing my towel onto my thighs first. You can put it away from you if you want. Placing your hands onto your knees, sitting up tall. And just clean, sorry, just closing your eyes. Just start to bring awareness to your breath as you inhale through the nose. And exhale out through the nose. Now check in with your sitting posture. If you're feeling tightness anywhere, just start to shake your body out and just find what's best for you. Just making sure that you're just trying to grow a little bit taller with every inhale. And with every exhale, you're relaxing the shoulders but keeping the spine tall. Keep breathing here. You want to keep the breath nice and steady. If anything, during the class, if you start to feel like it's a little bit intense for you, just draw your attention back to your breath. Let that be your focal point so that you're not focusing on the discomfort or the ache that you might be in in your stretch. Breathing here for another five. Four. Three. Two, and one. One last deep breath in, and exhale out. On your next inhale, raise your hands up towards the ceiling. Interlace your fingers, flip your palms up. Gently blink open your eyes if they were closed. And just reach up tall, feeling a nice stretch as if you're waking up from a nap. And as you exhale, reach your bum down to the floor, but keep your palms reaching up. Inhale, lengthen the spine one more time. And exhale, start to sway yourself right and left. Just moving only from the upper body, from the shoulders. Try not to let the bum lift off the floor at all times. Keeping your knees down towards the mat. And slowly, as you finish up both sides, come back to center. Release your hands down towards the mat, beside your hips. Sit up tall. Make sure your chest is not jutting forward. Try to pull your ribs back into it, your spine and stack your shoulders over your hips right here. Fingertips walking out away from you. 
And from here, without feeling any tension in your wrists, try to just allow your palms to reach down to the floor. And as you do so, you're gonna feel your shoulders push down away from the ears. And now it's very, very hard for me to reach my palms down. So it's okay. We're just thinking of doing that. And as you do so, try not to let the torso move forward. Keep the chest open. Keep your hips underneath your shoulders. And just keep trying to reach your palms down. If your fingers slide in towards you a bit more, that's okay. Just try not to move the fingers too much. And slowly relax, shake the shoulders out. Let's try that two more times. Walk the fingertips further away from you this time. Keep that lower belly hugged in. And exhale, reach the palms down towards the floor. Keep feeling the push of the elbows down towards the mat, your shoulders down. But try to fight that by keeping your chest open, keeping your spine tall and relax. Shake it up. All right, one more time. Fingertips walking away from you. And very slowly exhale, palms down, tuck your lower belly in. Keep sitting up tall, but keep pushing your palms down, shoulders down. Stay for three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Inhale, raise your hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, reach your right fingertips down towards the floor. Palm down if you are okay. Now press firmly into that right hand and feel your left knee reach down towards the mat. Feel that right oblique working. Keep your left hand up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, reaching your left hand over to the right. As I do so, I bend my right elbow in towards my right hip. Keep reaching your left knee down towards the floor. Keep pushing with your right hand and start to feel the stretch up and out of the left side of your waist. Feel the stretch in towards the space underneath your left armpit. And keep your left shoulder away from the ears. Keep your right shoulder away from your ears. When you are okay, Start to inhale and slowly rotate the chest up towards the ceiling, gazing up towards the ceiling past the elbow if your neck allows, maybe straightening that right elbow if you want to. Breathing here, keep extending the left arm, keep reaching with your fingertips. And then last but not least, very slowly face the front and slowly face your chest down towards the floor. Reaching your left fingertips down towards the mat, beside your right hand if you can. If not, place it onto your right knee or just reach it fingertips touching the mat very lightly. If you are able to place your fingertips down, slowly start thinking about reaching that palm down as well. Feeling the stretch in your mid and lower back. And coming into a nice spinal twist here. Slowly inhale, raise that left hand up towards the ceiling. Come back to center, hands onto your knees, sit up tall. And exhale out. One more time, deep inhale in. And as you exhale, switch your legs around. So some of us are not comfortable with sitting with our legs crossed at all times. So give your legs a shake and come to the awkward side. We always start with the comfortable, familiar side. So one side is always awkward, that's okay. Raise your hands up towards the ceiling, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, reach your left fingertips down beside your hip, sitting up tall. Press your palm into the floor if you're okay. Reach that right knee down towards the floor and start to feel your left oblique start to work. Inhale, lengthen up with the right hand. Exhale, reach over to the left, bending your left elbow in towards your hip. Press into the palm. Feel your right knee ground down towards the floor. Keep your shoulders away from the ears, but keep extending the right arm overhead. Breathing here. Keep feeling the stretch up and out of the right side of your waist. Again, feeling the stretch underneath your right armpit as well. And then when you're ready, slowly start to face your chest up towards the ceiling, rolling your right shoulder back, gazing past your elbow if you can, maybe straightening your left arm, but make sure that your shoulders are away from the ears. Keep reaching that right arm overhead. Breathe. Two. And one and very slowly tilt your chest back to face the front and very slowly face your chest down towards the floor reaching your right fingertips down towards the mat beside your left again if it's not easy place your hand onto the knee or if you want to just lightly tap onto the mat eventually one day maybe your palms can touch the mat completely feeling a stretch up and out of that mid back and the lower back keep your shoulders relaxed Keep pressing into the palm, into the fingertips if you can. Stay for three, two, one. Very slowly come back to center. Raise that right hand up towards the ceiling. And exhale, hands onto your knees. Sit up tall. Take a nice long inhale here. 
and exhale, relax. One more time, inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, relax. Inhale, raise the hands up towards the ceiling one more time. And exhale, this time we're gonna reach the fingertips down towards the floor in front of the shins. Walk the fingertips forward very slightly and press into the finger pads. Now stay here and start to tuck your tailbone under. Feel that lower belly start to engage and feel your lower back release. If this doesn't feel like much for you, go ahead and place the forearms and elbows onto the floor in front of your legs, holding onto opposite elbows. We're just feeling a slight compression in the hips here, allowing that lower back to open up. Again, if this is too much for you, you just stay here. Breathe, shoulders away from the ears, two, and one. Now slowly coming back up, walking the fingertips behind your bum this time, palms onto the floor, fingertips pointing towards the knees. Lean your weight back, Start to see if you can straighten your elbows, open the chest. Now, this is the first contact of the palm to the floor where weight is on your hands. So some of you might feel like your wrists are a little bit tight, a little bit uncomfortable. So you're welcome to walk your wrists. All right, so pressing into the left hand, pressing into the right hand, shifting your weight left and right, just allowing the wrist to open up and start to warm up here. Breathing for another five. Four, three, keep the shoulders relaxed, two, and one, slowly come back to center. Now place the backs of your hands onto your thighs, fingertips pointing towards you, keep your elbows bent. Now from here, try to point your fingers towards your hips, place the backs of the hands here, and start to round the back and push the shoulders away from the ears. You don't have to straighten the elbows, and then slowly relax, bend the elbows out left and right. One more time, push into the backs of the wrists. Try to round the back here, lift your chest and slowly relax. Curl your fingers into a tight ball, pull the knuckles in towards the inner forearms and start to see if you can lift your chest again. Staying here, shoulders away from the ears. Three, two and one, slowly shake the hands out. Keep your fingers relaxed and raise your palms out in front of you. Very nice. Reach the fingertips in towards your face. Feel the stretch in the palms and close the hands really tight into a tight ball and stretch it out one more time and close it in. Three more times here. Stretch it all the way out and close it in. Two more. Extend it all the way out and close it in. One last time. Extend it all the way out and close it and shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Good job. All right, shake the legs out if you need to. We're gonna stay in one last stretch in our seated position, coming into a shoulder stretch. So if you want to, swap your legs around. Cross your right arm in front of your chest. Use your left forearm to pull it in here. Now relax that right shoulder away from the ears and start to look towards your left shoulder. Feel a stretch in your neck, feel a stretch in your shoulder and draw your chin down towards the chest. Good, stay here, breathe. Three, two, and one, slowly release. Now reach your right arm to the side, turn your palm to face the back wall, thumb is facing down, bend the elbow, reach it behind you, and see if your right hand can look for your left hip. Once you are there, place the left hand down onto the thigh and see if you can grab onto your left elbow. Once you are here, start to open the chest and start to feel the stretch in the front of your right shoulder. Beautiful job. Staying here. Three, two, and one. Slowly release, shake the shoulder out. Swap to the left side, left arm in front of your chest. Pull it in with your right forearm. Inhale, push that left shoulder away from the ears and then look towards your right shoulder. Slowly draw the chin down towards the chest. Stay here for three, two, and one. Release, reach the left arm up, palm facing forward and then face the palm towards the back wall, thumb facing down. Bend at the elbow, reach the back of the hand towards the right hip. Once you're there, right hand onto your thigh. See if your hand can grab onto the right elbow and try to open up the shoulders here. Open up the chest, squeeze your elbows behind your back. Breathing here. 
Very nice. For three, two, and one very slowly release the arms shake the shoulders out now grab the towel in your right hand let it dangle right here now reach your right arm up towards the ceiling and face your palm towards the back wall so your towel should be dangling behind your shoulder bend at the elbow keep your elbow close to your ear and let the fingertips reach between your shoulder blades pull your elbow in towards your head and stay here try to tuck the belly in tuck the ribs in now reach your left arm out to the side palm facing back and again same thing bend the elbow in and reach for the towel very nice you've got the towel here you don't need to stress pull your elbows in towards the midline walk your left arm up the towel those of you who can you're going to grip fingers and let go of the towel if you need the towel just keep holding on to it pull your elbows in towards your head stay here for three very nice two and one let's slowly reach over to the left side keep your right elbow close to your head stay here for three keep your right knee down two and one slowly come back to center very slowly release the left hand shake the shoulders out switch to the other side left hand is holding the towel raise your hands up towards the ceiling again back palms facing the back wall and allow the towel to hang down towards the space between your shoulders. Now, bend the elbow, fingertips reaching between the shoulder blades, pull your elbow in towards your head, sit up tall, tuck the ribs in, hug the lower belly in. Right hand, palm facing the back, bend at the elbow, and slowly start to look for the other end of the towel. Slowly walk your hand up the towel, keep your ribs tucked in, pull your elbows in towards the midline, sit up tall and stay here. Again, if you can interlace your fingers, go ahead. If not, just keep holding onto the towel for another three. Keep the ribs hugged in, two and one. Lengthen the spine, inhale, pull the elbows into your head and exhale, reach over to the right. Stay here, keep your left knee down, three, two, and one slowly come back to center release and shake the shoulders out all right let's place the towel towards the top right corner of your mat in case you need it and let's cross at the ankles place your palms down coming into your tabletop position standing on your hands and your knees all right being comfortable here making sure that your knees are stacked directly underneath the hips shoulders are stacked on top of the hands and start to sway yourself left and right just warming up the wrists here again if your wrists are very very tight keep the elbows bent and move very slowly working into the outer edges of your hands and the inner forearms and the inner corners of your palms and slowly come back to center keep your toes tucked under slowly shifting the weight front and back small range of motion first again to warm up the wrists keep your lower belly hugged in to protect that lower back keep your chest up don't let it sink down and slowly come back to center all right untuck the toes sit onto the heels place the backs of the hands onto the mat fingertips pointing in the same direction as your toes start to slowly round the back and straighten the elbows facing the eyes of your elbows forward and just stretching out the backs of your wrists here stay for another three good two and one slowly coming back to center coming into your tabletop position keep your toes tucked under your knees are hips distance apart from here three rounds of cat and cow inhale drop the belly down tailbone goes up gazing up chest forward exhale tuck the tailbone under hug the lower belly in press into the hands look down between the thighs inhale drop the belly down coming into our cow pose chest forward shoulders away from the ears exhale curling it under chin and towards the chest press into your hands stay one last one inhale drop the belly down gazing up towards the ceiling and exhale rounding the back chin and towards the chest beautiful job from here come onto your tupperware or onto your tissue hands are elevated so you should feel that your chest can lift a lot higher Bring your knees in towards each other to touch, ankles to touch, and then from here, step your right foot very slowly between the Tupperware. All right, if your knee starts to feel pain here, place a towel under the knee or place a cushion under the knee. 
Keep your left toes tucked under, press into your hands on the top of where and make sure that your right knee is stacked over your right ankle. From here, slowly see if you can start to walk that left knee back and squeeze that left glute. Start to feel this opening in your left quad, in your left hip flexor. Stay here for another three, two, tuck your tailbone under, and one. Keep your left hand where it is. Just walk your right foot out to the side of the mat very lightly, and then place the right hand and the Tupperware on the inside of the right foot. Now slowly let your hips sink down, keep your lower belly hugged in to protect that lower back, squeeze that left glute and open your chest coming into our lizard lunge here. Very nice job. Those of you who feel you want to take it a step further, you can remove the Tupperware and place your hands completely onto the mat. Keep your left hip lifted up and keep your right knee pulling in towards your right shoulder. Keep squeezing the left glute here. If you want to take it even further, Pull the Tupperware back in, place your forearms onto the Tupperware and rest right here. You're going to feel that right hip opening up. Stay for another three. Beautiful job, everybody. Two and one. Wherever you are, bring the assistance, assistance back in towards you, your props, and start to walk it in behind your right ankle. All right, start to straighten that right leg. Keep your chest open. We're standing on the left knee. Don't sink the bum down. And start to point your right toes up towards the ceiling. Now push your bum back. Pull the right toe in towards you and try to fold forward. Again, if this feels too easy, start to walk that right foot forward, straightening the right leg completely and then start to fold the body forward. If this is where you're at with your right knee slightly bent, you stay here. Breathe. For another three, keep your hands light on the top of where don't dumb all the way in two. And one beautiful job. Let's walk the top of where on the outside of the right foot. Walk it back forward. Hands onto the top of where, tuck the toes under, lift that left knee off, squeeze the left glute here, and press your feet into the floor. Lift the hips up. Staying here. Really squeeze that left glute. Come light onto the fingertips. Press into the Tupperware and slowly place your hands onto your hips. Focus on one spot, find your balance and lift your chest up. Heel is stacked over the toes. Squeeze your left glute, squeeze your left leg straight. Hold it here, breathe. Very nice, two. And one, very slowly place your hands back down onto the Tupperware. Walk your hands forward. Step your left foot forward coming into a forward fold. Open your feet, hips distance apart. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend your knees as much as you need to. Put your hands onto the Tupperware and start to gaze between the legs. So if this is where your maximum is, you stay here. Those of you who can, you're going to try to straighten the legs a bit more, squeezing the quads. If this is still too easy, go ahead and move your hands off the blocks or the Tupperware. Place your fingertips onto the floor. Stay here for another three. Hug that lower belly in two. And one. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Place the palms onto the floor. Step the feet back and come back into your tabletop position. Knees together, ankles together. Grab the Tupperware. Pull it in towards you. Lift the chest up. Very nice. Let's step the left foot between the Tupperware now. Keep the right knee tucked under. And then from here, you can start to walk that right foot slightly back if you want to. All right. Keep the chest open. Keep squeezing that right glute. Stay here. Breathe. For another three. Step into that left foot a little bit more as well. Two. And one. Wiggle that left foot out to the side. Place the top away on the inside of the left foot. Opening the chest. Sing the hips down very slightly here. And then from here, start to lift the right hip up. Pull that left knee closer in towards your left elbow or shoulder. Again, those of you who feel this is very easy, move the Tupperware off. Place your palms down towards the floor. This is option two. Option three, you have the Tupperware in front of you. Place your forearms onto that, coming a bit lower. You should feel your left knee pulling in towards your left shoulder by lifting your right hip up a bit more. 
Feel the opening in that left hip. Stay here. And breathe. For another three. Beautiful job, everyone. Two. And one, slowly coming back onto your hands. All right, bring that left foot back to center. Tap away on either side of the foot. Tuck your right toes under. Lift the right knee off. Lift the hips a bit higher. Just make sure that your right heel is stacked over the toes. Hug the belly off the front thigh. Step into the feet a bit more. Come light onto the fingertips. Focus on one spot. Hands onto your hips. Lift the chest all the way up. Squeeze that right glute. Straighten that right leg as much as you can. Breathing here for another three. Very nice job, everyone. Two. And one hands back onto the top away. Walk it forward in front of your left foot. One big step with that right foot forward. Coming back into the forward fold, whichever variation works better for you, you are going to take that. Staying for another three. Two. And one, slowly bend the knees, come all the way to standing, raise your hands all the way up towards the ceiling. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart center, palms by your sides, palms facing forward. All right, I'm going to face you now. So we are going to have our feet together, big toes to touch, okay? Ankles squeezing in towards each other, squeeze your glutes, very nice. Keep squeezing the inner thighs in towards each other at all times. Raise your hands up towards the ceiling and hook your thumbs. Extend the arms all the way up and exhale, reach your hands over to the right, push your hips out to the left. Stay here, keep squeezing your legs together. Three, two, and one, inhale back to center. Switch the thumbs around, extend the arms up, inhale, exhale, reach over to the left, squeeze the legs together, hips to the right. Extend your arms as much as you can and slowly come back to center, release the hands. I'm going to do that two more times, one on each side. I'm going to give a variation. Option one, hook your thumbs overhead and do exactly what we did before. Option two, right hand grabs onto your left wrist, raise everything up. And as we exhale, let's reach over to the right and pull with your right hand, allowing yourself to twist, sorry, to side bend a little bit deeper. Keep your legs together and slowly inhale back to center, switching to the other side, hooking your thumbs the other way around or left hand grips onto the right wrist. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, let's reach to the side. Coming into a deeper side bend, squeeze your legs together, pull with your left hand. And inhale back to center, beautiful jump. Slowly place your hands down beside your hips. I'm gonna face forward again. You stay exactly where you are. Raise your hands all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, fingertips down towards the floor. So if you are super inflexible, you still feel that like you need the Tupperware, go ahead and place your hands onto the Tupperware. Step the right foot through between the hands. Left leg goes all the way towards the back. Wiggle your toes until you cannot wiggle them anymore as if you're about to go on a 100 meter dash. Place the left knee down, untuck the toes here. Place your hands onto the front thigh and as you inhale, lift your chest, keep your gaze at one spot. Lift your chest all the way up, come into this nice kneeling position, squeeze your left glute, squeeze your right glute, stack your left hip over your left thigh and then raise the hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, we sink into that left hip a bit more. Make sure your right knee is stacked over your right ankle. Breathe here for three, two, and one. Place the fingertips down towards the floor beside the right foot. So again, if this is too hard for you, take the Tupperware, place your hands onto the Tupperware. Keep your chest open. From here, left hand stays down, right hand onto the right thigh. Start to roll the right shoulder open, looking past your right elbow. Those of you with the hand on the floor, you can look up towards the ceiling. Stay here, four, three, two, and one. Options to stay here, options to raise the right hand all the way up, fingertips up towards the ceiling. Breathe, maybe gaze up towards that right thumb. Two, and one. Slowly untwist, hands back onto the floor or onto the Tupperware. Tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee off, and start to straighten that right leg here. So if you feel like this is really impossible, go ahead and grab the Tupperware here. 
If you want to take it a step further, you can hop that left foot in and ground the left heel down towards the floor behind you, coming into a calf stretch as well. If this is too much for you, walk the top of where back, stay on your fingertips and try to keep that right knee slightly bent. All right, challenge yourself, pull the toes in towards your face, coming into this pyramid variation, staying here. If you want to, you can fold your chest towards the toes. Nice. Three, two, and one. Slowly walk yourself forward. Step that left foot forward. Shake the legs out. Come all the way into standing. Take a nice long inhale here. Raise your hands up towards the ceiling. And exhale, hands by your sides. One more time, palms facing forward. All right, from here, exhale, we're going to fold all the way down. Bend your knees as much as you need to, fingertips onto the floor or onto the Tupperware. And left leg between the hands, right leg all the way towards the back of the mat. Wiggle your toes back until you cannot wiggle them anymore. And then drop that right knee down, untuck the toes. Place your hands onto the front thigh. Lift your chest, keep your gaze forward. Shift your weight back, stacking your hip over your right knee. From here, just slowly start to sink into that right hip. Squeeze that right glute. Left knee is bent at 90 degrees. All right, from here, raise your hands up towards the ceiling. Breathing here for another three, two, and one. Fingertips down beside that left foot. Again, if you use the Tupperware, grab it. Place your hands onto the Tupperware. Right hand stays down, left hand onto the left thigh. Press your left hand into the thigh, roll that left shoulder open. Looking past your left shoulder if you want. Keep the right hand on the floor, on the Tupperware, but don't dump the weight into it. Stay here for another three, two. Options to stay here. Options to raise the left hand all the way up towards the ceiling. Looking towards your left thumb if you can. Breathe, open up that left shoulder. Two, and one. From here, place the hands back down, tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee off, stay here, and then slowly start to straighten that left leg. All right, if this is too much for you, you are going to walk your top away behind your ankles, bend the knee. Those of you who want to take it a step further, you can hop your right foot in very slightly and ground that right heel down. Wherever you are, small challenge, try to pick your left toes in towards your face. See if you can balance. Breathe here. Four, three. Very nice job, everybody. Two. And one step into that left foot, walk the Tupperware forward, step that right foot forward, forward fold, shake the legs out. And then from here, very slowly bend your knees and sit your bum down towards the floor using your hands for assistance. All right, facing you, you can stay where you are. Soles of your feet in towards each other, knees are out wide. Coming into butterfly pose, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. This time, fingertips behind your bum, Thumbs facing towards you, fingertips facing the back. Lean your weight back very slightly and allow your feet to open up like a book. And as we do so, keep the shoulders away from the ears and we start to squeeze the knees down towards the floor, feeling your outer glutes work. Relax your lower back, try not to push it too far forward and start to feel your hips open up. So even if your knees cannot touch the floor, it's okay staying here. Feel the inner thighs open up. Squeeze your glutes a bit more. Lean back a bit more if you want. Keep that lower back relaxed for another five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center. All right, and then from here, keep your right knee bent, extend your left leg out, put the right foot in towards the left inner thigh. Your left toes are going to point up at all times, if possible. Grab your towel if you need to, and sit up tall. All right, I'm going to place the towel beside my foot. Raise the hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, left hand twists and reaches for the right thigh. Right hand behind your back, opening up through the chest, looking past your right shoulder. And then when you are ready, 
Use your corner of your eyes to look at your left toes. Raise your right hand up towards the ceiling and see if you can try to side bend and reach for the toes here. So again, if you cannot, grabbing onto the towel, grabbing onto both ends with one hand, put the peace fingers between the towel to keep that hole open. Loop it around your foot and see if you can come into this twist. All right, it's okay if the arm is in front of your chest. I don't mind it as much, but you're gonna feel a massive stretch in your right mid and lower back. Try to point your elbow up towards the ceiling. Maybe look past your armpit. If you are just here, just stay here. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Stay for another three, two, and one, slowly release. Come back all the way up, sit up tall. And then very slowly turn your body to face the left foot. Using the towel, loop it in front of your foot and pull yourself down. Keep that right knee down to the floor. Reach your elbows down towards the mat. Pull yourself in, stay here for another five. Keep pushing the right knee down. Four, good job everybody. Three, beautiful two and one very slowly release sit up tall come into that butterfly pose one more time and shake the legs out all right this time keeping your left knee bent okay extend your right leg out left foot in towards your right inner thigh keep the towel close to you wherever you are raise the hands up towards the ceiling and crossing that right arm in front of your chest reach for the left knee reach your left hand behind your bum Twist and look past your left shoulder, sitting up tall, keep your right toes pointed up and then slowly start to turn your head, look at the toes, raise your left hand up towards the ceiling and slowly start to reach. Coming into that side bend first and then when you feel like you are ready, go ahead, use that towel, again grabbing both ends with one hand, use your peace fingers to keep the hole open, hook it like a lasso and try to pull yourself in. Good, very nice, stay here. Keep reaching your right arm across towards the left thigh. If you can, maybe roll that left, sorry, that, yeah, that left elbow open up towards the ceiling, looking past your armpit. If not, just stay with your arm in front of your face. Breathing here, feeling a nice stretch in that left mid and lower back in the side as well. For another three, keep breathing two and one very slowly untwist come back to center release the towel from your foot take a nice long inhale here and exhale slowly start to face your right leg okay looping the towel in front of the foot and pulling your elbows down to the floor staying here for another three two and one slowly release soles of the feet in towards each other placing your hands behind you again fingertips pointing back open your feet like a book and squeeze the glutes maybe the hips are opening up a bit more this time staying here for another three two and one very slowly pull the knees in towards each other going to lie down onto the mat so remove the tupperware and whatever you have on your mat you just need your towel with you if you want your towel if not you don't need it slowly grabbing behind your thighs we're going to lower down over the next 10 9 extend your arms 8 move very slowly 7 Six, lower back lowering down. Five, mid back lowering down. Four, upper back. Three, shoulders. Two, head is all the way down. Pull your knees in towards your chest. Gently rocking side to side, allowing the mat to massage your back. It's nice to be on our backs now that we were doing a lot of stretching. That might have gone into your lower back a bit, so allow this to open up your back. Just give it a nice massage here. Slowly come back to center. 
extend your left leg all the way down to the floor keep your right knee hugged in if you cannot reach you can grab behind the thigh just keep thinking about pulling your knee towards your chest staying here extend your right arm out to the side you can keep your arm bent if you don't have the space just make sure that your elbow is in line with your shoulder left hand to the outside of your right thigh you're going to drop your right knee over to the left so we're coming into a twist your right hip is going to face up towards the ceiling and you're going to roll onto the outer side of your left foot now when your elbow and your shoulder start to pick off the floor slowly untwist a bit and let your shoulder rest down so the more important thing here is not the right knee touching the floor but for the right shoulder to stay on the floor this is our supine twist breathing here for another three just try to relax as much as you can. Two. And one. Slowly coming back to center. Left toes pointing up. Grabbing behind your right thigh. Let your right knee pull towards your right armpit. Keep your left hip on the floor. If you know how to do happy baby, we're coming into half happy baby. Right elbow on the inside of your right thigh. And then hand grabbing the outside of your right foot. Pulling your right knee down to the side. Keep your left hip on the floor, stay. Two. And one, slowly release, right leg down. Pull the left knee in. Again, if you can, pull the whole left knee in. If not, just grab behind the thigh and just slowly start to pull it in. Now extend your left arm out beside you. Again, cactus arms if you don't have space. Shoulders in line with the elbow. Right hand on the outside of the left thigh. Let's drop that left knee over to the right. Moving very slowly, rolling onto the outer hip on your right hip, left hip pointing up towards the ceiling. Again, if your left shoulder and left elbow start to lift off the mat, just untwist a bit. Make sure your shoulder's on the floor and stay there. Allowing this very gentle supine twist to just give you the last few stretches you need to release any tension in your back or in your legs, or in your shoulders. Three, two, and one, very slowly untwist. Right toes pointing up towards the ceiling again, grabbing behind the left thigh, pulling your knee towards your armpit. Again, if this is too easy for you, left elbow on the inside of the thigh, reaching your hands to the pinky toe side of your foot and pull your knee down towards the mat. Keep your right hand on your right thigh for support if you need. Stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center. Hug both knees into your chest. Gently rocking side to side again. And then this time, place your hands behind your lower thighs and slowly start to pull your bum off the floor very slightly. Try to extend your legs overhead, reaching your toes down towards the mat over your head. Even though it's not there, maybe one day it will reach. Those of you who can, you can wrap your arms around the back of your knees. Pull your belly towards the thighs, thighs towards the belly. Staying here. Relax the shoulders. Bum is off the floor. Three, two, and one. Slowly release the bum down. Stepping the feet onto the mat. Opening your feet as wide as the mat, letting your knees knock in towards each other. Arms out at a 45 degree angle away from your body. Palms facing up, fingers curled naturally. This is the time if you want, you can use your towel to cover your eyes. Just blocking out the light from your eyes. We're gonna stay here for another 10 breaths. Just enjoy your rest. Feel your shoulders relax, feel your hips relax. For the last five breaths, you can stay here or extend your legs out into a full Shavasana. Feet as wide as the mat, toes rolling out.
Take a nice long inhale here. And exhale very slowly, bring your legs together. Pull your knees into your chest one at a time. And gently roll over to your right side and push yourself back up into a seated position. Sitting up tall. You can keep your eyes slightly open or keep your eyes closed if possible. Coming back into that comfortable seated position like we did at the start of class. Raise your hands up towards the ceiling, interlace your fingers, flip your palms up. Take a nice long stretch like we did. And exhale, release your hands down onto your knees. Gently blink open your eyes. Big smiles in your faces. Take a nice long inhale through the nose. And exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Seal the lips, breathe in through only the nose. And gentle bow to your hearts. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you want to, you can bring your palms to your heart center. And thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you feel a little bit better and a bit more stretched out. Keep working on that flexibility and I'll see you very soon.